Now, Mickey the Wallet was this uppity little punk with a stutter, one arm freakishly shorter than the other. So he decides... Yeah, yeah. Fuck it, let's drink. Yes. Raise him. What's the matter, kid? Come on, Jason, let's celebrate. You need champagne in your mouth and a couple of perky tits in your face. Forget the skanks that work for me. We're taking you to Sensation, my treat. Nope. False. You're already over budget this week. <laughs> Listen to this one, Jason. Karen. We had an arrangement there. RPG? What's the matter with you, Benny? You bumped your fucking head? I need this kid in one piece! He looks fine to me. Look, see? He's moaning and stuff. Oh, good. You're right. He's okay. I want you to know something, Jason. I am an empathetic soul. Your little thing with Vera's crew, trying to start a little revolution, a little uprising, I don't blame you. You're young and dumb. Hell, I'd be willing to let the whole thing slide if it was just you and me. Unfortunately, if I do that, other guys, they might get the wrong idea. Get to thinking, What's to stop me from making a run at the throne? You know what I mean, Jason? 
Fuck you, Frank. What? Fuck me? Fuck you! You know where shit! Boys! You cost me big, Jason. So here's what's gonna happen. If you're able to walk out of here, you're gonna work for me. You're gonna work off what you cost me. You're gonna forget Vera Martello and her little buddies. In fact, so am I. As long as you be a good little shit and do what you're told, I'll leave them alone. But fall out of line, do something I don't like, and they're all dead. And then, you're dead! I didn't knock that guy out on purpose, Frank. Well, he went down. That's all that matters to me. Are we understanding each other? You work for me now, Jason. I own you. Expect to hear from me soon.